I hope you enjoyed this performance of Onward by James Moore. A couple of things to look out for while you're practicing this piece. The first thing is the dynamics. So we have a wide range of dynamics from as soft as piano to as loud as forte with accents. I like to move around the drum for different dynamics. This is to help not only make it easier to play those dynamics, but it also changes the tone of the drum. When I play soft, I play towards the edge of the drum to help take some of the tone away while performing. And then when I play the loudest dynamics, I play in the center of the drum to produce a fuller sound as well. Now, if you choose to do this, I recommend that you make a very clear and consistent location for each of your dynamics. That way, when you go to practice it, you'll always be aiming for the same location, which will help develop the consistency within each dynamic level. Another challenge that we have with dynamics in this piece are the decrescendo and the crescendo that we have. Now we have a long decrescendo from forte all the way to piano. And this is gonna be not only us traveling from the center of the drum to the edge, but also decreasing our stick height. You're gonna to wanna to practice this not only first by just playing the rhythm, but then playing at every dynamic level possible. So I would probably play this four times in a row at its forte, and then I would move a little bit softer and play it four times in a row, and then a little bit softer, and then a little bit softer. And then eventually we practice moving a dynamic one at a time in one measure each. So one measure of forte, one measure of mezzo forte, one measure of mezzo piano, and then one measure of piano. And then we want to try to make it sound as smooth as possible. Now when we crescendo, it's the opposite direction and it's gonna be twice as fast in this piece. It's only two measures long. And when I crescendo, I like to save the crescendo a little bit towards the end, almost like the bell of a trombone. And when we do that, that helps it give a little more excitement when we reach that loudest dynamic, but that's something we have to practice. So you may wanna practice increasing that dynamic first over just simple eighth notes over two measures and then play the rhythm as written. Lastly, there are some accents that we have to produce at a forte dynamic. Now accents are simply an emphasis that we need to hear over the normal dynamic written. I don't need to play as loud as I possibly can, but I do need to produce a slightly louder sound. So I do that by raising my stick height when I go to perform. So in this case, we're performing accents at a forte dynamic. So it's gonna be louder than forte, but not so loud that we're gonna damage the drum in any way. I said that was the last thing, but the thing I forgot to mention was our sticking. And you may have noticed me using a different sticking at different parts of the piece. But naturally, I, I choose to um, look more towards a, a natural sticking, which would mean all the quarter notes on the right hand and then all the upbeat eighth notes on the left hand. Now, when we get into the 16th note patterns, that would be alternated right, left, right, left as well. You can also practice this where um, you alternate every note starting on the right hand and the left hand and honestly I think it's good to practice each one of those each three of those styles of sticking so that you can be more comfortable as a musician but ultimately when you go to perform you want to develop consistency so you just need to pick one of those stickings that you choose to do more commonly. I hope this has been a helpful resource for you today and I wish you all the best as you continue to learn Onward by James Moore.